Okay, today we're going to show you how to grill speckled trout. We have our pit, it's nice and hot. We're going to open it up and we take a, a little brush here and rub, rub it down good. Once we brush it, rub it down, we'll take a wet paper towel and we'll throw it on here. You can see I've already done it once before. You see all the goo that comes off, so do this here. Like you do in the restaurants. All right. So now our grill's nice and clean. Takes it off, it's hot. Put it right there. All right, now I'm going to spray a little bit of Pam on here. Uh, watch out, it can, can flame up. What that's going to do is kind of make a nice, nice clean surface. Okay, next on the list, take us out some trout fillets. I got them on ice inside of here, keep them extra cold so they stay extra fresh. And these have been clean, okay. So we take them, I'll put a paper towel down, I'm going to kind of dry them a little bit on the back side. Pick them up just like this. And then the trick is to douse them in Pam. So I'm going to spray them really good. You see it just running down it. Okay, let's spray the grill really good. And then I'll lay them on there. Just like that. Okay. I'll repeat that process. Take the fillets. Kind of dry the back off just a little bit. We get maximum Pam. That's the trick. Just spray it really good. Lay it on the grill. And we'll continue with a few more of these. Woo! Okay. This is a little bit bigger, so it may take a little bit longer to cook. That's all right. We're going to do five or six of them tonight. Okay, so when we come back, we will you know, let these close this up for a moment. I'm going to go put my sauce together. When we come back, we will uh, put the sauce on. Okay, the next part we do is make a little sauce. Take a uh, garlic, you put the date on it so I know when it was uh, when we bought it. That's always a good time. Good idea. I'm going to squack this. I'm going to get smack here. I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to cut him up. Or actually, even better, we'll crush him. So I'm going to stick him in this crusher. Squish him on out in there. I'm going to crush it right into that. So, there we go. More in here, we'll crush that in there. Okay. All right, take about a half a lemon. Thank you, Caleb, for lemons off his tree, right down the street. Very nice. All right, so I squeeze that in there. Smell awesome. Now, I'm going to go grab a spoon. Okay, so we got our spoon. Um, I closed the lid on this to kind of let it uh, let it simmer and open up take a look see the fish is doing quite nice and since we put a lot of uh, goo underneath them see they're not sticking so that's the trick there and we take some butter garlic and lemon fresh lemon sauce and we're just going to kind of lay it over the fish it may flame up a little bit that's where the beer comes in we can pour it over it and knock the flame down a little bit okay as much garlic and butter as you want most of them use this so my Tony Chatteries will stick. Okay, got some good flameage there. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna just throw a little extra maybe to make a good smoke. All right, I'm gonna close this for a moment. Let the fire go out. I'm gonna take some Tony Chatteries. What I'm gonna do is just sprinkle it over the fish. And you know, we had that nice. Uh... Oh, there we go. My container is almost empty here. A little bit there, a little bit there. Alright, if you have anything else you want to put on the fish, well, you go ahead and put it on. So, uh, we're going to let those uh, simmer, and when we come back, we'll take them off. Alright, we're going to check, check on them. I went inside and got some more Tonys because the Tonys was running out. So, I'm going to put another, another nice coat on these. There we go, it's looking good. Now, if you're not into Tonys, you like different seasonings. Uh, we also have, uh, which is a Good one is this one here, Nature Seasoning. Uh, we'll do some of those. It's not as uh, spicy, gives a nice flavor. Sprinkle them on the fish. And then the trick is, notice, don't mess with the fish. Just let them sit. If you get a little flame up, just kind of touch it with your cold beer there, knock it out. And then the trick is, just let them sit for a few minutes. And uh, 
and in a couple minutes we'll take them off. Well, we, uh, fish, fish has been cooking for a few minutes between about 300 and 350. And now we're going to check it out. We'll take a fork and we're going to go find a thick piece. And we'll put the fork in it and we'll twist it a little bit. And if it starts to separate like that, you see how it's separating out? That means it's ready. Now some of the thicker ones that we stick it, see it's still rubbery. So that one still needs a little more time to cook. But these smaller ones, you'll see they're actually about ready. So we don't want to overcook them. Okay. The trick is taking two spatulas instead of one. What we'll do is we'll try to get up under it. And sometimes this gets a little hard, but if, the, if you put enough of that sticky stuff on there, usually you can break it loose, just like so, and scoop it up. I got these kind of close to each other, so I'm going to have to do a little maneuvering to get them. Let me switch around here, get this guy into here. We'll pick him up real carefully and lay him on the plate. There we go, we'll do another one. Again, the trick is uh, enough Pam. So you put enough Pam in there, makes it easy, lift it up. And set on the plate. Now, see how easy it's coming off the off the skin there. Even a friend, he actually will just leave the skin on here and just take the fish off. So you can do that too. Uh, if your skin's sticking, just go ahead and don't even worry about the skin. Just take the uh, the fish out of the skin, like with salmon or something like that, and lay them on a plate. So what we've done here is uh, we've got three of them on a plate. I'm gonna continue with these, but I'm gonna let these sit a little bit longer. Okay, I put them on, up on a pit here to keep them warm. And I'm going to take another one off at, in a, a little bit different way. If you're lucky enough to be able to start at the front here, what you can do is go with the grain, and you usually, if you get a big flat burger spatula, you can just slide it like so, and slide it right on there. So, you just go with the grain, like this, lift up a little bit, slide up on there. You should be able to get up under it pretty good. So you can use two spatulas, or one real long spatula, lift it, and whoop, place it. I'm out of spot, so okay. Alright, well, so there you go. You can see how we can uh, pick them up and place them down. And uh, the trick is, just don't mess with it. Let them cook and uh, there you go. Okay, so we're also going to see who else likes likes fish. You like fish? Yeah. We got some grilled fish here. And we're going to take a little taste of it. Like so. And we're going to let Allie try it out. See if she likes it. Well, what you think? Is it good? And what kind of sounds do we make when it tastes good? Mm-mm, good? Grilled fish! Yeah, grilled fish. Was that grilled fish good? More. You want more? All right. Well, I guess we got to go feed the alley bean. <laughs> 